The new boss has been fun so far, but now it's going to be even harder. Welcome back to Luck Be a Landlord, where I am on flo apartment floor 15, meaning that the uh, apartment boss, the landlord at the end, now has stronger and more challenging fine print. It means he can manipulate the board much more powerfully and do some crazy stuff. And I'm off to a pretty good start right now. I got bees and flowers synergy going on. Bees buff flowers. An early coconut half is quite nice. And here, blue pepper is awesome in the early game. Three coins if there's at least three empties. Only issue is that there's only seven empties, and I plan to fill those up pretty quickly. So maybe it's just pool ball. Pool ball will probably be the tortoise that beats the blue pepper's hair. Speaking of hair, I could have shedding season, but I don't have any rabbits. And even if I did, would I want shedding season? I mean, I don't know. The shedding can get out of control. It needs to be managed. I'm gonna take anchor. Anchors are good on average. When they show up in the corner, I mean, that's just a, such a huge boon. I do have a key, so why not take a lockbox? For all I know, that could be the last lockbox I ever get. Now I'll take a monkey as well, continuing on that trend. I mean, I have a, uh, I have a coconut half. Maybe I actually didn't want to eat that, huh? I don't know. I'm going to take a coal now. I like diamonds. Yeah, I might have been wrong. I mean, I'm opening myself up to taking bananas now, which is good. Hexa hoarding is kind of fun. Being forced to take a symbol after a spin, that could be a good time. You mean brown pepper synergy with that? Quiggly the wolf is just good. But you know what? I'll take brown pepper instead. I go quickly a lot, and I'll be taking a ton of symbols. And you know what? I am going to grab a thief or a bar of soap. I'm going to go with thief. Why? Because I have monkey, which means I can take banana. Banana becomes banana peel. Banana peel can get thief. I may be good at taking a shiny pebble there. Hmm. I will take rain. Rain buffs flowers. So I can have a bee and a rain buffing flower and another bee for what it's worth. Three side die is worth two on average, which is always worth it. Got a cool double buff. I want to see a triple buff. I did hit a wolf. I'll still take it because it's worth two on average. And crushing rent right now, but let's hope it stays that way. I'm going to take a... Big urn is worth two and can be destroyed down the road. Goldilocks, you may destroy this item and add three bears. You know what? Give me the bears. Let's do it. I can also use a removal capsule to start to thin out my deck. Get rid of some garbage like the cherry. Interesting build right now. Flower, rain, bears, more rain. Okay, this is a big flower build. And now I'm being forced to add a symbol. No getting away from this. The seed is tempting. Look at these options, right? Void fruit is good. Banana is good. Cherry's bad, but coconut's good. Flower is good. Pear is good, and the rest are good. The only bad outcome is the cherry, so why not take a seed? Plus, doesn't rain help seed? This time I'll skip. Yeah, peach is fine. It's worth two. Okay, I need to find a banana soon, though. Otherwise, that thief is going to rob me. Well, I'll get the thief eventually, and I'll pay dividends. The more... The longer I have them around, the more it'll pay off, especially when I'm crushing rent like this. Surely it won't destroy me. Reroll at least buffs my die. If it rolls less than the max value, it will reroll and give me the max value. It does it 10 times. Triple coins. Ooh, if there's three coins, coins give two more this game. I could go for a coin build. Give me the damn triple coins. That sounds fun. And I'll skip. How about a lucky cat here? More likely to find uncommon rare and very rare symbols for each cat. Now, cats are pretty strong. So if I'm forced to take a cat, I don't hit it well. Oh, a coin or an essence capsule or a bar of soap. All three of these are great. You know what? I'm going to take coin. Let's go triple coins. It's pretty bad right now, but I can afford it. I think an essence capsule. I'm likely going to make rent, although I am slowing down. I only made 14 this time. Ooh, item capsule for the common item. Target's not bad either. But, ooh, treasure map. I don't need any of these. Man, how hard is this to get a banana? I mean, I guess it's a little harder with the cat giving rarer and rarer symbols, but that doesn't matter because I'm still getting a bunch of commons. Purple pepper is 50 money if three of the same symbol are adjacent and not empty. That includes X's, so I'll take it for 50 money. Removal capsule is awesome. Comfy pillow is so much fun. Green pepper might be better money, though. I did comfy pillow last time, so realistically, I should just go for consistency, especially when I'm this close to my rent payment. Definitely gonna get rid of garbage like the pearl. I still don't hate the Hexa Hoarding. It hasn't hurt me that much. Three side die is gonna be worth three consistently. Oh, I guess it's not consistent. I misread the reroll thing. It's more that if my three side die rolls a one, then it rerolls, which is still fine. It brings up its average. I don't know if that means I take it though. Oh, wait, what am I talking about? This is a banana. 
Holy shit, how did I almost miss that? I also would like to remove something. Maybe Hexa Hoarding can go now. Yeah, I'll get rid of it now. Now let's get Monkey to eat that. Oh, there we go. Banana peel. Let's get that banana peel hit in the thief for a massive windfall. I got Beehive. Beehive for honey. The ultimate synergy. Oh, it's beautiful. Bees, rain, flower, honey. I'll take an essence capsule. Why not? Come on. Hit that thief, huh? Oh, I really need to hit that thief. Well, it's basically hit the thief or lose, huh? I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's true. I'm actually gonna skip here. Even though I, wow, B is still really good. B hive gives two more. No, I'm gonna take the B. Okay, diamond hatched. How much did I actually get here though? 25, that's bad. Keep taking the B. B's for flowers, B for beehive. I got no synergies here. What the hell is this? What? Okay, I need the thief to hit the damn banana peel or at least some buffing to happen. Come on, what? Maybe I'll try to see if I can find some easy money right now. None of these are easy money. Oh my god. <gasps> yes! Oh! <laughs> big, 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 big. I had to spend those rerolls in hopes that I could find some alternate way to make a ton of money. I am barely at rent. Cyan Pepper is 20 free money. Shattered Mirror is bad because it decreases the amount of symbols I have to choose from. Let's just take Cyan Pepper, free money. Brown Pepper is a little bit more free money. The others just are not likely to be achieved. Horseshoe is 60 free money. Swear Jar is interesting. I don't know if I get 25 or less anymore. I mean, I've had some low rolls, but I think the time for that is up. So I'll just take Horseshoe. Beastmaster, is that good? I have bees, I have bears. Yeah, why wouldn't I want Beastmaster? Two coins whenever I skip. Seems awesome. I've got a ton of peppers. You can still use another coin. Another bear is pretty good, right? Especially if I get honey made. And I have a beast master. Okay, I'm just one coin away from triple coins. And I don't even know if it's worth it. Hustling capsule is scary. It might make me not hit rent. Yeah, I don't think I can afford a hustling capsule right now. It's just too slow. I mean, I'm gonna need more of this. Tomb is awesome. Gives three, has a chance to add spirits, which gives six. It's a 6% 6 chance. That got changed. Hey, I made one. One's my beehive with 10% chance gonna give me honey. Well, at least I'm buffing the hell out of this flower. Oh, hey, I got the pepper destroyed. Cat is interesting, so I can get more rare stuff. And I have Beastmaster synergy. I actually might take one more cat, especially since I'm actually crushing right now. Okay, all this free money stuff is paid off, and I have a honey somewhere. Hell yeah. Okay, things are turning around. Things just suddenly got baller. I still feel like I need to thin out my deck, but I think this has a lot of merit now. I'm absolutely crushing rent. Magic key is just okay. Let's see if I can do better. A beehive, that is way better. That's huge. Grave robber could be good. If I, I could just destroy my big urn and my tomb. Now I know, I mean, I lose the tomb. But it does help me thin out a bit. Helps me more focus on animals and bees and beehives and that sort of stuff. And it's the only one that actually gives me a benefit. So I think I'll do it. And then just remove something, maybe an anchor. Maybe a monkey. Anchor gives five in the corner. Monkey gives two and next to bee master. And it's definitely worse than the die still. As long as I have reroll essence, the die is worth keeping around. Perhaps I could have taken the undertaker essence. I mean, that would have triggered out. Oh, those bees, or those bears. Love the bears. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, I am setting myself up for a good boss fight. Even though it's going to be more challenging of a boss fight, I don't care. You know what? I'll take an urn. It'll destroy itself eventually. But yeah, pretty soon actually. Give me a six per. Don't need a hooligan. Absolutely demolishing right now. What? This is the fastest turnaround in Luck Be a Landlord history. Have you ever seen a turnaround like this? I mean, I gotta take the guillotine essence. I have to keep myself in check. I can't let myself become a billionaire when I'm trying to destroy the billionaires. Pool ball is 60 money. Probably won't get 60 spins out of it, but it is just free money. Another spirit. Meh. Could go for another rain. But I only have two flowers. The bees are mostly good because they also buff beehives. The rain and flower part of this energy is just kind of meh. And spirit is only 24 money. Let's see if I can do better. Unfortunately, that isn't better. Although, how many spirits do I have right now? I do have a few spirits. You know what? No, let's go witch because I have spirits. Doubles the spirits. And black pepper is going to probably pay dividends. I'm going to be getting a lot of things destroyed like spirits and like honey and like anything I take in the future. Lunchbox is good too, don't get me wrong, but whatever. Ooh, double buff on the cat. 
That's a 32 worth flower. Maybe the flower part is still pretty good. I guess, especially since I have a ton of bees. That's a 42 bear. Hey, my third coin. How about that? Yeah, I'm not leaving that synergy behind. I just need all three to show up at the same time. Void creatures, baller. That's just one coin. Come on, triple coin. Wealthy capsule I can do now. That's two coins. That was a double eat. Oh no, I did get three coins. Love to see it. Either way, my coins are pretty sick now, but honestly, funny enough, I don't even know if the coins are good. They're just three purrs. They're kind of just in the way of the good synergies. Like imagine if that cat was a bee. Cat coin is what I meant. I want bees. I'm doubling rent. This is good. I'm really prepping myself for the boss fight. Gonna keep going though until I know I can at least win out until the boss fight. Beastmaster is awesome here with all these bees. Undertaker is really interesting. I have only one spirit. I'm really tempted to just go pizza the cat though. Looting glove is also sick. These are all amazing. Am I considering a spirits build? I mean, yeah, these are six purrs. Why wouldn't I want spirits, huh? Permanent six purrs are sick. Now I can just get rid of weak shit like the anchor. Your time is up. Yeah, I mean, especially since I have a witch too. Does that mean I start taking every urn? I mean, yeah. I think it does. Maybe I don't go overboard on them, but I don't care. There's six purrs. Doesn't mean I want coins though. Coins are only three purrs. That's not good. And I don't think I want hexes either. I got a lot of interesting synergies. Give me more hustling capsules. I got two pool balls already. Let's let's get a whole set. Three is a good start. That's a triangle number. What I just love about this game is how much you can just pivot within a single run. It's just so much fun to pivot. I don't need more bears. I have four already. They're gonna eat the honey. And the odds of double eating a honey aren't great, and they're pretty bad when they're not eating honey. Cats are actually pretty good. I have a witch. Eh, I guess that's it. I have a beast, a couple beast masters. You know what? I have enough cats. Two, two is enough. I kind of get scared after that, especially when I have all these spirits too that I'd rather just have show up. I could use another witch. Oh, my reroll has worn off. Finally, time to get rid of that die. And I am slowing down on rent. I guess I'll take a small symbol bomb. Gives me a removal capsule. Cat's pretty interesting. Moby's strip is sick. Uh, I guess the essence is just giving a 1.5x buff to things that get destroyed. Copycat. I'm not getting five cats adjacent, but I could actually because cats would become wild cats. Wild cats give coins an equal to the highest value among adjacent symbols. So you know what? Maybe I do want to go cats now. And now I'm kind of looking for a witch. Didn't get it. These aren't even the synergy I wanted. Frozen fossil destroys eld uh, witches. I, I can't do that, or rather the eldritch creature does. None of these are actually helpful to me. Skip it. Ooh. Looting glove is awesome. Just gives me more money with the things that get consumed. Bronze arrow is okay, but it might just get clunky. I'm gonna skip it. I would take a silver arrow. But I think I'd rather just have all these adjacencies. Bronze arrow kind of gets in the way of that. And it's just tilting whenever bronze arrow points off the edge of the screen. Like it's already marginal. And then it's whenever it performs less than marginal. It's just like, ah, eat my nuts. Well, like I said, Peach is going. After this, I don't know what the plan is. Maybe the rain? Rain's only buff flowers. I don't need another bear. Yeah, I think it's going to be rain. I think I start phasing out rain and flower and then coins. Anyways, I still haven't technically made the next rent, but I'm edging towards it. Cow is pretty good. I have double Beastmaster and I have cats. Yeah, I could go for a cow. Why not? I guess I could take Hex Synergy if I ever get the Holy Water or Hexes don't have an effect. I would want to take Hexes. Let's see what can I get rid of. Yeah, I said rain or coin. And maybe rain keeping around for the occasional flower buff isn't bad either. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll just keep the synergy, get rid of the non-synergy. Coins were fun while they were triple. They're still worth triple now, even with removing one. It's for the rest of the game. It's just they don't have adjacency bonuses. And I should be hitting 777 this spin. So now I have to just prepare for the final boss. I'm going to actually commentate through this so I can try to figure out my final boss deck. Actually, no, I'm not. We're gonna cut to the damn final boss. Well, nice spin to end it on. You'll be delighted to know that I added basically nothing to my deck. 
except for an item capsule. Now it's time for the final boss, 1500 HP, and he's got harder fine print. Oh boy. Frozen pizza gives me more symbols, especially in the short run, that could be good. What is this? Quantum symbol bomb? You may destroy this item and choose five symbols that were previously seen after a spin but weren't added. Possible symbols are everything? What? Okay, I'll take the quantum symbol bomb. That's crazy. These don't actually help me. These are all bad. I'll skip. Comfy pillow, I think, is... It's too late. Jack-o'-lantern, I have no synergy with. Maybe gray pepper in case I somehow stumble on a removal token. Six free money. So let's start whittling away at this landlord. Only 60 HP on the first strike. Not being given great options right now. Still no. At least not the pink pepper. Okay, go bears. 146. I might just take a tedium capsule here, or maybe a cat. No, I want the wildcat, right? So I'll grab a cat. Buffing capsule is a consumable. Rerolling symbols cost one more. Okay, I didn't have any reroll tokens. That is a pretty brutal one, though. I'm actually not quite sure if I like the cats. I mean, I do want wildcats, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Take a wealthy capsule right now. Well, wildcat could happen, although I might just be dicking myself. Let's see. Ooh, pretty good 132. These stink. Removal capsule. Hey, I got one. No, removing symbols costs one more. Damn it. Um, thing is, it doesn't hurt my gray pepper. It just means that I'm not going to be able to use the gray pepper right now. I need another one. Only 70 damage. Skip it. Dwarves give 50% less coins. That's okay. I have no dwarves. Still whittling away. I'm only barely making rent, too. Oh, God. Skip it. I feel like I'm making my own deck worse by, like, adding these cats chasing down copycat. How do I think I'm going to get five cats in a row? Why did I think this was a good idea? Yeah, but I have to commit now, right? Five side dive gives two coins less. That's okay. I have none of those. So now I just need the miracle of five cats in a row. I don't know. I think chasing this was a bad idea. If I was to go back in time, I wouldn't do it. Urn is good, though. It can destroy itself, become a spirit. This fight is going to be very close. Because, like, I'm going to make this rent. I cannot dis enable or disable items. That's fine. But here's the thing. It's not about whether or not I make rent. It's more like, can I kill the landlord before the next rent cycle is up? Because I don't think I'm going to make the next rent. And I'm going really slow now. Because, oh, well, I got a witch. Maybe there's a chance. I don't know. I'll take fertilizer. I do have two removal capsules. Time to get rid of something. That something's going to be a coin. So I, I don't know. This deck has kind of gone to shit. I got another spirit, at least. Maybe there's hope. This is winnable. It's going to be insanely close. I'm 2.5x less likely to find uncommon, rare, and very rare symbols. That is brutal. Oh, those are banger witches, though. I got a 24. If I can just keep getting 83s, I'm set. I'm gonna skip here. I don't want any of those. I get two whenever I skip as well. Right, that's good. That's good. 75. This is so tight. My landlord adds a hex of destruction, which isn't automatically bad. <laughs> it might take my bad deck and make it more consistent for all I know. Do I want a B? Bs are pretty good, right? I'm not going to take a B. I'd rather skip. Oh, got the honey. That's huge. No buff on that, but I, I needed that. It's looking like a win. Symbols directly above and below each other are not considered adjacent. That might slow me down. I do rely on adjacencies, but not this spin. That's a pretty good one. You know what? I'm not even going to take the urn, even though I know it's good. It just might not pop off, and I don't want to risk that. Three spins left to kill the boss, because I'm not making rent. Monkeys give less coins. I think that's going to be fine, unless I just roll like shit. I mean, that's a pretty bad roll. Chemical 7 is awesome. It's just free money. I should get there now. Yes! A 69 to finish off the boss with only a couple spins left. One spin to go. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. More Landlord coming soon. Check out the playlist if you haven't. Have a wonderful day and peace.